Religion is such a strong force in our society. It supports to unite, protect, and brought people to a better place. This is true, specifically in Christianity. A religion that based itself in love towards God and love towards one another. But when we see a little deeper into Christianity throughout the history, something feels a little bit odd. Massive killings and genocides were done in the name of God, smearing the name of Christianity as a whole in the eyes of modern society and its morals. So it begs the question, how does Christianity, once a prejudiced belief, becomes the oppressor? Christianity is a significant religion that originated in the first century CE with the life teachings and death of Jesus Christ. It has grown to be the most prevalent religion in the world and the one with the greatest geographic dispersion. There are more over 2 billion adherents in its community. The Roman Catholic Church, Eastern Orthodox Churches, and Protestant Churches make up its three main religious communities. Over the years, Christians have held a variety of perspectives on violence and nonviolence. Christians' pacifism, non-resistance, righteous war, and preventative war are four perspectives on violence and war that have resulted in four different behaviors throughout the history. For example, the Crusades. The early church chose a peaceful approach in, to conflict in the Roman Empire because it believed that imitating Jesus' self-sacrificing life was preferable to it. Earlier non-Christian Roman and Greek thinkers like Cicero and Plato, sorry if I mispronounce everyone, are credited with the developing idea of just war, the notion that certain restricted forces are justified. One of the worst cases of believers crossing humanity line is the Inquisition. The purpose of the Inquisition, a collection of organizations operating under the Catholic Church judicial system, was to battle heresy. Popular fiction and historical accounts frequently use the Spanish Inquisition as an illustration of Catholic intolerance and oppression. According to the percentage of executions that appeared in the trials from 1560 to 1700s, which was roughly 2%, the approximate total would be 3,000 of the approximately 150,000 people who were subjected to the Inquisition processing. The information that Dio and Garza Sarsal, sorry if I mispronounce it again, gave to the tribunals in Toledo and Valencia, respectively, suggests that the true death toll was considered to be Greater. Christians have done so many bad things in the past. Are we irredeemable? As a Christian, we can actually practice precaution in our perspective and action when we are faced with people different than us in our daily lives. Being able to understand Christianity as a whole, the Bible, and the core of its belief truly is a crucial first step to become more self-aware. As said by Jesus in Luke 6 verse 41, why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Self-reflection is the next step of practicing self-awareness as a Christian. And lastly, knowing the history of pain caused by Christians in the past, it can make us see better, avoiding the mistakes made in the past and open a new chapter of the Christian Jesus Christ will approve of.